Introduction. The struggle to heal is real. I struggle with healing from my past for a long time. I know what it's like to feel desperate and not know where to turn. I know what it's like to feel like a slave to your negative emotions, thoughts, and actions. I've tried practices that worked a little bit and gimmicks that didn't work at all. I knew deep down that I was not created to suffer. I turned to a lot of different self-help books. The majority of them focused on changing our thoughts to heal our past trauma. The concept seemed so simple. If I could just change what I thought, then I would change how I felt. And although this had been proven to be true, I couldn't figure out how to change my thoughts. I followed the advice and exercises. I repeated mantras and posted them all over my room, but I still continued to struggle with negative thoughts, and I ended up repeating the same behavior. Why did I continue to think self-defeating and harmful thoughts over and over? I questioned why, no matter what I did, I just couldn't stop the onslaught of negative thoughts once they began. After a long search, I finally discovered the answer. If I am consistently having negative thoughts, it is because they are being driven by a limiting belief. A limiting belief that I hold true is causing negative, harmful, or destructive thoughts. If I am constantly thinking to myself that I am not good enough, or that I do not deserve what I truly desire for myself, or that I'm not worthy of love, if I am constantly thinking I'm ugly, I'm stupid, or I can't trust anyone, then my life, my result, is going to mirror these thoughts even if I have never shared these thoughts with anyone. However, we are not at the mercy of destructive, counterproductive thoughts. We can control what thoughts we give life to, which thoughts we pay attention to the most, and which thoughts dominate our minds on a daily basis. We can control our thoughts by what we believe about ourselves, the world around us, and our place in it. Everything we do, think, feel, and say is driven by a belief, and if we want different results, We must change what we believe in order to change what we think about, in order to change our emotions that influence our actions. My first mentor introduced me to personal development, and he set me on a path of self-discovery. After years of researching universal truths, attending workshop after workshop, retreat after retreat, coach after coach, and video after video, I discovered several truths that guided me towards timeless teachings and concepts that helped me to put context around the deep trauma of my past. Identify the self-limiting beliefs that held my thoughts captive. Discover my purpose on earth. Understand how trauma and the negative self-image showed up in every area of my life. I realized that our beliefs drive our thoughts. Our thoughts create our emotions. Our emotions drive our actions, and our actions create our results. Basically, if I wanted something different, then I had to believe something different. What we believe determines what we do, and what we do determines what we get. For the sake of this book, results equal the quality of life that we experience on a daily basis based on the satisfaction levels that we give and receive from our relationships with others, our jobs, and our world around us. These concepts and tools have totally turned my life around, and my life is now one that I truly am proud of and grateful to be living. My thinking is clear, and my emotions now serve me rather than wreak havoc on my career, my family, and my relationships. I am fortunate to be able to help others in ways that I only dreamt about. My relationship with my mother is better than it's ever been. I've met the woman of my dreams, and I was motivated to get into the best shape of my life. 
Those who have allowed me to lead them through these seven steps know that this is not a gimmick. This is a call for you to take your life back, back from pain, self-doubt, and discontent. You don't have to sift through endless self-help books on Amazon. You don't have to try to decide which YouTube video on self-improvement you are going to watch. I've taken those lessons in healing, those tools in personal development, and everything that has helped me and so many others break free and created belief theory. If you're not getting the results you want in life, I want you to know that there is nothing wrong with you other than the fact that you believe something's wrong with you. You are not a failure, a loser, or any other negative adjective that you or someone else label you as. Believe it or not, you are capable of achieving anything you want in life. You are designed to be, do, and have what is truly meant for you. And if you are not operating at your fullest potential yet, that just means that you are operating under a self-limiting belief. I created belief theory to help you identify and isolate how we really feel about ourselves and how we develop our self-image as children. What are the self-limiting beliefs that we carry that ruin our relationships and opportunities through self-sabotage? Patterns that seek to keep us in bondage to old attitudes, behaviors, and beliefs that no longer serve us. What belief theory is designed to do. In this book, you will learn how to break free of limiting beliefs that hold you back from the life that you truly deserve. Identify, isolate, and master your emotions in the moment. Stop self-sabotaging thoughts and behaviors. Set boundaries with others. Examine beliefs that feed the fear and anxiety that paralyzes us. Reprogram your mind for success. Create a vision that excites you. As a result of the belief theory program, you will understand yourself better than you ever have before. You'll become aware of what's holding you back from being the best that you can be. Being aware of these thoughts, perceptions, and patterns will dramatically change your life, allowing you to stop the self-sabotaging behaviors dead in their tracks and put you back in the driver's seat of your life.